Alright guys, it's your boy Adrenaline, and today we're doing something a little bit different here on YouTube. Um, something out of the ordinary, which I don't normally do. Um, this isn't the uh, idea that I've got and posted on my community tab um, about the live comms. This isn't that, but um, essentially we're going to go into the shop, we're going to go to bonus packs, and we're going to open up 100 of these. Now this is going to obviously take a minute. But thank God, recently Masador got an update where I can just buy 100 packs in one go and then just make it a lot easier rather than going and buy 10 pack, 10 pack, 10 pack, blah blah blah. Um, now the reason I'm reason I'm recording this is essentially there's a guy out there which is my best friend, which is um, he goes by many names to be fair with the amount of names he's got, but his latest. Um, what, I, what, what, what do they call it? There's a special name for it, but basically his sort of ID, if you will, is King Aqua. Now he challenged me a while ago to basically open 50 of these, believe it or not, but I've just been saving and saving and saving. Um, well, uh, I've uh, bought too many of these, but I've gone and saved again. So, Reese. If you're out there, if you will accept my challenge, I'm going to open my 100 packs now, and you need to get back on this game, and you need to do the same thing back. So, hopefully we can get at least two ultra rares out of this, because if so, that would be awesome. Um, ones I would like to get, personally, obviously we want the ultra rares. Um, honestly, if we're talking monsters, I've already got Trishula here. Or Trishula, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I pretty much already have these, but I'm very much oh, ancient pixie dragon. Maybe that. I don't believe I have that. Um, yeah, we're just basically going to go in and see what we can get. But yeah, all right, all right, Reese, let's do this. Hundred packs off the bat. Alright, first 10 packs, let's go. Now, if you guys have bought these before, you only get two cards per pack, so this video shouldn't be too long, um, but yeah, let's see what we get. Okay, super rare off the bat, Armored Bitron. I believe, yes, this is a Cyverse card, not too bad. Okay. Might get a super rare out of this, I believe. Or a new card, I'll take it. Deformation. Now obviously, yes, I have bought an absolute bunch of these uh, packs before, so um, everything won't necessarily be new. But if we get anything new, then cool. But so far, so good. I won't be skipping this, obviously, because that could uh, take a while to go through the cards. This polymerization was this about. Ugh. I might actually use that to be honest. This polymerization, cool. Sounds pretty OP. Uh grab a crush dragon, not too bad. Sorry if you can hear like uh, a little humming in the background, it's my PC. Um, yeah. Okay, X Head Cannon and Rune Angel of uh, Oblivion, not bad. Again, we've already got the Oblivion. Super rare maybe, let's go. Uh, hey. P.O.T. Dragon, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it looks pretty cool. Soul Reversal. Return one flip effect monster from your graveyard to the top of the deck. Hmm, okay. Not too bad actually. And that actually kind of looks pretty cool. No, 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 that's pretty cool. Like, it looks like a totem kind of thing, I guess. I'm guessing that's the way they were going anyway. Ring of Destruction, nice. Mm. 
Now I don't know how we're we're gonna do this. I don't know whether it's just gonna be the you know who basically gets like the most ultra rares, the most super rares, blah blah blah. It might come down to uh, the actual cards themselves. Um, but yeah, gladiator, uh, gladiator beast, Gaio Diaz. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but look, looks pretty cool. Okay. Not two cards I would use personally, but we carry on. Hercules Beetle and uh, Minar. Not too bad, some OG cards there. Alright, next 10 packs. We have an ultra rare. Let's go. Give me a, uh, give me a synchro. <laughs> like, I know I've got plenty, but. Castle Gates. I've seen this actually. This is in 5Ds, right? I swear that's in 5Ds. Could be wrong. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, nice. Rocket Pilder, I'm not too sure what that's about. Well, this equipped monster is attacking. Wait, oh, why the equipped monster is attacking? It cannot be destroyed by battle at the end of a damage step. If the equipped monster at attacked, the attack target loses attack equal to the attack of the equipped monster until the end phase. Okay. Oh, here's the ultra rare. Let's go. Okay, so I, I basically think this is uh, not a guaranteed... I, I'm not actually sure what the actual foil is called on here. It's something weird, but... Yeah, it's like a prismatic kind of deal. Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. So we've got a digital bug, Rhino... Sebus, Rhino Sebus, I'm not too sure. Um, two or, m or more level 7 light insect type monsters. Um, you can also Xyz summon this card by detaching two Xyz materials from a rank 5 or 6 insect type Xyz monster you control, then using the Xyz monster on the Xyz material. Xyz material, like they say Xyz way too much. Attached to this monster also becomes XY Xyz material on this card. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing uh, battle damage to your opponent once per turn during either player's turn. You can detach one Xyz material from this card, destroy the face of monster your opponent controls with highest defense. All if tied. That's kind of cool. I know it's like a, a last second kind of thing right there, but that's cool. Not too bad. Alright. We've got Silent Abyss. Let's carry on. Okay. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, I'm a massive Cyber um, Dragon fan. So, Cybers are welcome. An abysmal King Shark. I think it says. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, my chance of a super rare here. Or two new cards, I'll take that. Magical Marionette. Uh, I've got Claudian, whatever that says, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Not too bad. We do like new cards. Cool, we've got a foil there. Diving Snow and Spell Reclamation. Not bad. Human Cell Battle and Final Final Geese. I'm not too sure what that actually says, but yeah. Or Guess, I don't know. I know it's not Guess because it's not spelled correctly, but. So we got uh, Witty Phantom and we got Sound. Soundproofed, I believe. This card can only be activated at the start of the main phase one. And only if you control no face up synchro monsters, neither player can synchro summon a synchro monster until your opponent's next end phase. Okay. Now I will say, I'm not, you know, 
Well, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of Red Dragon Archfiend, but I, I lean more towards Starless Dragon type stuff, so uh, anything that goes towards, you know, Junks and Stardust, uh, Stardust we'll take that. Okay, Miss Body, not bad, and we've got a Dark Rabbit. Okay, next 10. Oh, okay, chance of a super rare maybe. Uh, we got Pazul and Hippo Carnival. That was a rare at least, so that's cool. Or, be, or is it rares and then super rares for that thingy then? Iron Chain Repairman and Armored Glass. Armored Glass is pretty cool. Okay, so the illusionary gentleman. What is this? An OG ish card, maybe? I'm not too sure. And. I know, I know it doesn't say majestic, but. Me. District magician. I'm not too sure, but. Looks pretty cool. I hate those things, though. My little token things. Uh, spell counter, sorry. Okay, last minute cancel. Elemental Hero Tempest, okay, good card, not bad. Well, hey, nice. Chance of a rare slash super rare. Okay, nice rare. Fairy King Truesdale. And we also got Dark Blade of the Captain of the World, Evil World. Not too bad. Again, new cards are welcome. I'm just hoping I've hit the record button. I feel like I haven't, I'm not gonna lie. But, we're here. Twin uh, Long Rods, number two. And Black Thunder. What does Black Thunder actually do? Okay. Well, the Black Wing Monster you control is destroyed by battle and since the graveyard inflicts 400 damage to your opponent for each card they control. Okay. I've probably gone against that card before, or, you know, not gone against that card, if you know what I mean. Dark Horus, not a bad card actually. And uh, Spirit of Flames, Dark Horus, nice. Or oh, Dark Horus. I don't know. Uh, Delta Flyer, nice. Uh, something you say we'd use. But yeah, there you go. Helios Duo Megatus, I'm not gonna try and pronounce the thing, and Beckoned by the World Chalice. I, I have seen that card before. In the uh, campaign kind of thing, if you will. Despair from the dark. Okay, not bad. And magnet, magnet circle level two. Dark artist, and we also have a whatever that says. Tie. I'm not too sure. I do re I do recognize the card at least. Okay, we've got a foil, not too bad. Spell shield type 8 and mech bunny. Mecha bunny, not mech bunny. Alright, Frostosaurus, nice. And we have a gem munch uh, merchant. It's about seeing moon. Merchant. Mega Phantom Beast Saber Hawk, and we also have a Puppet Queen. Not too bad. Okay, 
Okay, we've got some OG cards here. Uh, the Judgment Hand and King of Yummy Maikai. Move of Companionship and Tongue Twister. Flip Flop Frog. And we got a gladia Gladiator Beast Augustus. I have seen this uh, Gladiator Beast before. So, not a bad card. Boots of Summoning Dragon, nice. Rock Scorpion, uh, mainly the Thorn. Okay, last pack of these ten. Okay, blast in, uh, blast in the Ruins and Reinforce Truth. Okay, on to the next ten. Well, no Super Rares guaranteed in this one at all. Of course, unless they transition, do their little transformation thing. Uh, apologies if you can hear my little brother in the background. Or sister, I'm not too sure. I've got my headphones up pretty loud. But yeah, never seen these cards before. School Knight and Arcanine Barrier. Not too bad. Okay, Dimension Distortion, Drill Barnacle, I've seen that one, I believe this before. Doggy Diver, or Ancient Crimson Ape. Fairy of the Spring, World Legacy Trap Gloop. Some of these cards I've never heard of personally, but you know how it is. Chachaka Archer and Synchro Boost. Something I might use. The critical monster gains 500 attack and its level is increased by 1. Hmm. Could use that to be honest. I've had it before, but not used it in my deck, so re seeing it might be a, a change of pace for me. Eitsu and Past Image, if I pronounce the first card right. Goblin, um, Colin Griffith, not too sure how to pronounce that, and Raid Raptor, Score Eagle. Dark Prisoner, World Legacy Discovery. And last pack of these 10. Still got 50 to go. Legacy of a Hero Thousand Eyes Jellyfish. Fair enough, is that something to do with restricts or anything? I don't think so. Alright, on to the next lot of packs. Possibly one super rare guaranteed. No, make that two. So we've got a combo fighter and a Siren Aqua. I'm not I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Temple of the Sun and Dragonic Attack. Oh, Ultra Bear, okay, let's go. Nice. So we've got extra veal. And we also have number three Cicada King. Not bad at all. So that's two Ultra Rares, I believe. Um, so two level three monsters. If this battle position of this card is changed, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand or graveyard. I like how we've got two insects for Ultra Rares right now. Um, Insect monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position when the monster on the field 
effectively it activates its effect. You can detach one material from this card and target that monster. Negate its effect, then you make one insect monster on the field either gain 500 defense or change its battle position. You can only use each of the number three Cicada King once per turn. That is not bad at all, to be fair. So, Insects is our Ultra Rares of the day. Okay. I've never been the best at pronouncing that, but we also got Gladiator Beast and all. Illusionist. Illusionist. I can't say the word. Illusionist. <laughs> Faceless. Uh, Magi. And. Ukazi. Okay, Grasshopper and Smashing Ground. Not bad at all. Or is it Grass Chopper? I can't remember. I think it's Grass Chopper. Mirror of, uh, uh, mirrors of Oath and Natural Disaster. Spirit's Invitation, Orchestra Release. Okay, possible Super Rare or Rare. Or Foil. There's the Foil. And we even got Invigoration. Okay, last two cards of these 10 packs uh, Prevent Rat and Sand Gambler. Okay, on to the next 10. We've got quite a few chances of a foil rare slash super rare in this lot, so cool. Death Croaking, Reveal of the Immortals. Element Valkyrie. Hmm. Never seen that one before. And the Data Corn. Pretty cute, to be fair. Cute USB, bro. Millennium Scorpion. Oh, right. I actually didn't know you could actually get this card in the air. Fair enough. Each time this card destroys one monster on your opponent's side of the field by battle, sends it this creature this creature's 500 attack. Not bad. And we got Bicorn Riem. I believe it's pronounced. Could be wrong. Heartfelt Appeal, Shadow of Eyes, not bad. Linker Bell and Shield Spear. We can link some of this card unless you have at least three more cards in your extra deck than your opponents. Okay. Okay, what do we get here? Maybe a foil. Not even a foil, wow. So I think these are like not you know necessarily guarantees to pull like a foil or rare or super rare. There we go, super rare. So we got Pharaoh's Treasure. Uh shuffle this card face up into your deck. If you draw this face up card that was added to the deck by this effect, send it to your graveyard, then target one card in your graveyard, accept this card and target uh, add that target to your hand, not bad. And then we also have a gladiator beast and a, and a batter, something like that. Uh, so gladiator beast Augustus plus two gladiator beast monsters. Must be Special summon from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck. You do not use polymerization. If summoned this way, you can special summon one level 7 or lower gladiator beast fusion, uh, fusion monsters from your extra deck along its summoning conditions. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battle, you return it to the extra deck. Special summon two gladiator beast monsters from your deck. So, I don't believe... It doesn't sound like it's... Um, one of the newer gladiator beasts, if you will. If they've even got any new ones, I don't know. Okay, we've got Power Filter and Medusa Worm. 
What's this about? Use the player's special summon monsters equal 1,000 attack or less. Oof. Once per turn, you can flip this card into face down uh, defense position. When this card is flipped, summon destroy one monster your opponent controls. Wait. Destroy one monster your opponent's silent field. Okay, that's not too bad actually. I could see myself actually using that to be honest. Fine. Discard two cards. Why would you do that, bro? Well, in my case, this is it. It would work well in my synchro deck to a certain degree. Being soldier, that's what I'm talking about. And we got Amuculus, the Alchemist. Wait, Alch Alchemic? Alch Al 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 I don't know. Whatever that says. Apologies for the dyslexia. I just realised we started our next lot of uh, cards. Mystery Horseman, or Mystic Horseman, sorry. And we've got the Grim Reaper there as well. Destruction Cyclone and Beast Striker. Corner of the Unicorn's nice. Pyrotech Mech Shiryu? Shiryu? I'm not too sure. Be cool. I'm actually getting like a lot of OG cards, if you will. Overdrive, nice, and Don Turtle. Okay, so we've got a spined, or sp I'm guessing it's spined. Gilman, and we also got a dotty dot engu. I'm not ha sure how to pronounce that, I can't lie. Let's keep going. Next, nice. Yeah, cracking storm. Dark assailant and herald of purple lights. Sinister Sprocket and Iron Hammer the Giant. Sprocket I've seen before, but the other one, not so much. Okay, so we've got a foil, Raptor's Gust and DD Guide. Okay, last two cards and then we're on to the next set of pack. Well, next set of cards. So we have a Sky Star Star Ray, I don't know. And Yamadron. Alright. Almost our last chance for another Ultra Bear. Spike Cedra, nice. Lady Assailant of Flames, not too bad. This is what it's like searching for lack of blue eyes. Uh, Wonder Balloons and Outstanding Dog Mary, nice. Road Synchron, I'll take it. I've already got it, but we've got a rare version of it. Uh, well, a foil version. If we haven't got it already. We've got Branch and Penguin Torpedo. Uh, torpedo. I have, I have seen this in the series. Pretty sure it's, it's either in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series or GX, but can't see the five of these. Mighty Warrior, okay, we'll take that as a synchro. And Aval Avalanching Orza. Not sh not too sharp, no, I'm not gonna lie. Curse of Royal and Mech Bass. Would you call it? Uh, the Zapper and Constella. Bends? I'm too sure, but that looks pretty cool either way. A 
Oh, super rare, nice. Link bumper, okay. We've already had this one before, apparently. Once per turn at the end of a damage step, if, you, uh, if your monster this wait, if your monster this card points to attacked an opponent's link monster, you can activate this effect. The monster that attack attacked gains one additional attack on your opponent's link monster during the battle phase for each link monster you control. Except this card, your monsters except that monster cannot attack the, the turn you activate this effect. See that confuses me. This is why I'm not a big fan of link cards. They look cool, but yeah. And we also got spell shield type eight. At least we've got a super rare, so not too bad. Link belt war dragon. Hey, Cloudian eye of the typhoon. Not too bad. It's another super rare. Not foiled super rare, but super rare nonetheless. And we've got. Meteor Rain, and we also got Chaos End. Okay. Ah, there's no Ultra Rare guaranteed, so I think we've got like two or three Ultra Rares. I think it's two Eagle Shark and Ro Road Knot. I actually saw that on the Ruxin's 30, 34's uh, video not too long ago. I can't remember which uh, booster box it was opening, but yeah. Quick Span Knights. What's this about? Oh, it's a tuner as well. Cool. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls. A target loses 500 attack. Okay. Might see myself using that, to be honest. Digital Bug. Core bag, core core beige. I'm not too sure. I've seen this card before, but not too sure how to pronounce. I can't lie. Guildford the Lightning, not too bad at all. All right, Allure Queen level three and Bubble Illusion. Not too bad. We've got Gust and Ebon Arrow. I'm a shark, and we also got Marine Beast. Not too shabby. Star Changer and Bamboo Scrap. Alright, it comes down to not this pack but the next one. Uh, Photon Saber Tiger and the thing that hides in the mud. Alright, comes down to this. Possible super rare, we'll see. Hey, we got a super rare. Alright, and we got Numeral Hunter. Let's have a look. If this card is summoned, return all number. Exist monsters on the field to the extra deck. Neither players can special summon number Exist monsters. Cannot be destroyed by battle with an Exist monster. This card is unaffected by effects of X Y well of Exist monster. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh wait, no, this is the last pack, isn't it? My bad. It comes down to this stack. Maybe a super rare. Maybe. We got. Yes. Okay. Okay, last chance. Give me an ultra rare. Give like give me a synchro ultra rare and I'll be happy. Or it could be bug related. What, like make all three ultra rares bug related. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we've got a dragon horn hunter and we also have Oh it's a cybers card, okay. And we have dual SM. Assemble them. I'm not too sure, but that looks pretty cool actually. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can banish two other Cyburst monsters from your hand and or face up from your field. Special summon this card, but its attack becomes halved. You can only use this effect of dual whatever that name is once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish one card from your hand, banish one monster on the field with attack less than or equal to this card. 
Okay, not too bad. So, all in all, we got three ultra rares. We got more super rares than I actually thought, to be honest. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine super rares, that's not too bad. Um, we got obviously a lot of rares. Uh, not all of them are going to be uh, new, but I would say it's like a more than 50% chance, to be honest, of uh, new ones, which isn't too bad. And then, of course, we got um, some normal cards slash commons, if you will, as well, of course. Um, not a lot of cards that I'm necessarily too proud of getting, but there's a few, like Road Synchron for example. Um, show number owned, what do you mean? Ah, okay, so yeah, yeah, that's how many of those versions of those cards we have. So look, we have obviously bought this many a times, um, but yeah, I would buy five more, but then obviously that would be unfair on Reese. Uh, slash King Aqua. But yes, we've just gone and opened a hundred of those uh, bonus packs slash leg uh, legacy packs. Um, Reese, now it is your turn. Um, eventually, when you have got 100 packs, of course. And I wish you the best of luck. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been cool. It's been something different. Um, I'll be doing this every now and then. And then, of course, we'll save up those gems to open some packs. Now, currently, just before I go, I'm opening these specific packs. I think I've basically got all the rares, ultra rares, in this one. And now we're on climax of the showdown. Now, anything bestial related, we want. We've got this dude here. I um, can't remember his name. I'll just call him the the Dusk Dragon. I've got him, and I've also got this dude here, Tri Brigade Arms, uh, Boost, whatever, whatever his name is. Um, I don't think I've got this dude, but this is the one I want. I want Rebellion. Anything bestial, I want, um, because I actually want to make a bestial deck and change things up a little bit. But yeah appreciate you guys stopping by uh, we'll do this again sometime in the future in the near future I don't know it depends on how much I play this game I play this game probably about two hours a day sometimes even more um, currently as well just before I go um, I'm waiting for this one the most because I'm a massive synchro user and so far we are this far no joke all these are done we are this far into um, yeah, this current event so hopefully we can get to the end of it uh, again I'll probably play this for like 2 hours or so a day um, if I can of course and uh, yeah but yeah again thank you guys for stopping by and I'll catch you in a bit alright it's your boy Adrenaline see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>